In question 1, we're asked to express x minus 7 multiplied by x minus 2 over x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 all squared in partial fractions. The question carries 5 marks. I'm going to set up an identity. On the left, we'll have x minus 7 multiplied by x minus 2 over x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 all squared. Then on the right of the identity, we're going to have now a over one of the linear factors, which I'll have as x plus 2, plus b over the linear factor of x minus 1, plus c over the quadratic factor of x minus 1, all squared. If I multiply through by the denominator on the left-hand side, we're going to have now x minus 7. We'll have x minus 2. Then on the right-hand side, we'll have now the x plus 2s will cancel, and that will leave me x minus 1 all squared. We'll have plus b. One of the x minus 1s will cancel, leave me x minus 1, x plus 2. And then we'll have plus c. And we'll have now the x minus 1 all squared cancel to give me x plus 2. At this stage, I'm going to let x be equal to 1. So let x be equal to 1. On the left-hand side, we're going to have now 1 minus 7, that's minus 6. And then we're going to have 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to have 0 plus 0 plus 3 lots of c. If I plug in 1 to either of these brackets, it's going to cancel. So from this, we can see that 6 is equal to 3c. So we can say that c is equal to 2. So that's now when x is equal to 1. I'm now going to let x be equal to minus 2. So on the left-hand side, we're going to have minus 9. We're going to have now minus 4. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to have minus 2 now on here. And that will be give me that will give me a lots of minus 3, which we need to square, plus 0, plus 0. So from here, we've got 36 is equal to 9a. So we can see from here that a will be equal to 4. We now need to find b, and I'm going to do this by using simultaneous equations. I'm going to look at terms in x squared. So terms in x squared, if we consider now what we're going to have, we already know on the left-hand side, we're going to have 1. On the right-hand side, we're going to have a plus b. I know that a is equal to 4, so we've got 1 is equal to 4 plus b, and we can see from this that b will be equal to minus 3. So all I'm going to do is just go ahead and rewrite these back. So we have now 4 over x plus 2. Then we're going to have now the minus 3, which was b, minus 3 over x minus 1. So minus 3 over x minus 1. And then finally, we're going to have plus 2 over x minus 1 all squared. So that's one way of doing the question, and that has expressed it in partial fractions for 5 marks. A few different options you can have with that particular one, but we should end up with these values.